Hi, today I want to talk to you about using the quote expiration date in the Microsoft Dynamics GP sales transaction entry window. Now you can see I have a quote pulled up right now and I'm going to just drill down on the quote type. And you can see this is the only type where we actually have this additional field days to expire so that we can see how many days we want it to be until our quote expires. Now if you leave it zero it's going to assume you do not want an expiration date. So I'm going to now come over to the date site and click on my expansion window and you'll see in my sales date entry I have underneath my quote date I have a quote expiration date and again if it's all zeros there is no expiration. So let's pull up another quote and in this quote I did set up an expiration date so we'll pull up the sales data date entry and you can see I have an expiration date of 4-4 where the quote date is 3-5 so it's set for 30 days out in the future now what this does for me is it essentially just puts an end on when this pricing is available so I'm telling this particular customer or prospect that this particular uh, pricing and what I'm quoting is only available until this date. If I'm looking at the date of 412 and it expired 404 and they say they want it and I want to go ahead and grant it, then all I have to do is change the date. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you try to transfer this quote into an order without changing the date. Now the quote has indeed expired. So I'll transfer it to an order. And you could see that I receive an error message, uh, so it will not transfer, that the quote has expired, so it can't be transferred. So rather than just voiding the quote and rekeying it in, you could just simply go in and change the date. I'm going to change the date to expire perhaps tomorrow. This is dated April 12, 2017. I'll make the quote expire tomorrow. And now I can come in and transfer. Let's have a shortage situation, so I'll just override. Oh, and I don't even need to print the log. We can see we have an order now. So we see it did, in, did indeed transfer from the quote without having to do anything beyond changing the expiration date. So if you're using quotes, I do encourage you to use expiration dates because it does uh, give you a time limit. It does put on the quote itself so you can let the prospect or the customer know that you're only offering this particular pricing through a certain period of time and they can't come back later when you're not willing to offer that price. I hope this helps.